Iran has unveiled a new drone that it says is capable of striking targets in Israel. The Iranian Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics unveiled the Mohajer 10 on Tuesday as part of an exhibition and ceremonies marking Defense Industry Day. President Ebrahim Raisi and senior commanders in the Army and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, attended the event. The unmanned attack aircraft, which resembles the MQ-9 Reaper manufactured by the United States, was also shown in videos taking off from an unidentified airstrip and flying. It is said to be capable of carrying a variety of bombs and anti-radar equipment and of conducting surveillance. According to state-linked media, the latest version of the Mohajer, which was first developed during the eight-year war with Iraq in the 1980s, can carry a 300 kg warhead, fly at a maximum speed of 210 km per hour, 130 miles per hour, and hold 450 liters, 120 gallons of fuel. The media report said the drone can travel non-stop at an altitude of 7,000 meters, 4,350 feet, for up to 2,000 kilometers, 1,242 miles, meaning that it could reach Israel. Iranian media on Tuesday also published a poster of the Mohajer 10, which depicted it flying in clouds overlooking the Dimona nuclear facilities in Israel, with the words be ready to travel to the Stone Age written above it in Farsi and Hebrew. Standing in front of an assortment of large missiles and flanked by military commanders, Ricey announced during the ceremonies on Tuesday that two previously unveiled long-range ballistic missiles are now ready to be handed over to the IRGC. These include the Hajj Qasim, named after General Qasim Soleimani, who was assassinated by the U.S. in Iraq in January 2020, reportedly using an MQ-9 Reaper, and the Karamshir, named after the city whose recapture in 1982, marked a turning point in staving off the Iraqi invasion of Iran. Raisi told state television that Iran's military advances have significantly altered the way Tehran is viewed in the region and across the world. Yesterday, they viewed us as a consumer and a country in need. Today, they see us as a producer who can have much to say in the defense and military industries he said. Speaking to a group of defense ministry officials and scientists, he said Iran continues to seek friendly relations with all nations but will not hesitate to cut off any hand that wishes to invade Iran. Western powers continue to accuse Tehran of supplying drones, including an earlier version of the Mohajer to Russia for use in Ukraine. Iran maintains it supplied drones to Moscow months before the war and has called for dialogue to stop the fighting. The unveiling comes one day after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu blamed Iran for funding and encouraging a shooting attack on Israelis in Hebron in the occupied West, along with other recent attacks against Israelis. Also on Monday, Israel launched an airstrike in Syria targeting Iranian interests. Back in September, commander of Iran's Qadim al-Anbiya Central Headquarters, Major General Ghulam Ali Rashid, lauded the Islamic Republic's outstanding drone power, saying, Iran is now undoubtedly among the world's top three drone powers. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made substantial headway in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient. Homegrown Iranian military products have also found many clients in the world. 
Iranian officials have repeatedly warned that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, which are entirely meant for defense. In a recent interview, Tali Nick said Iran is among the top 10 countries in the world in terms of defense industry technology. The defense ministry spokesman added that Iran was able, in 45 years, to transform from an importer of weapons to a country that manufactures about 90% of its military needs. In his Saturday interview, Tali E. Nick said the arms supply contracts usually take time, emphasizing that none of the transactions that Iran has had with other countries, such as Russia, have been cancelled. The financial provision and exchange of the contract must be done within the framework of legal and international regulations.